From Tobacco Republic in Loomis, California, the Loomis Cigar Cartel presents Beyond the Humidor, a cigar podcast for the rest of us. Hey everybody, welcome. Scott Robinson with you with another edition of Beyond the Humidor. We have ourselves um, a lovely guest. She is here for a special purpose, so wait for it. (laughs) But before I even get into the podcast... I have to share something, and I have been chomping at the bit because I have wanted to share this so bad. Gorilla down. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So I'm going down the rabbit hole on Facebook, and Facebook gets me. I'll just start there. They know how fucked up I am. Uh Uh-oh. And I got an early Christmas present from Facebook. It was a movie trailer. Based on a true story, and it's coming out February 24th. God damn it. <laughs> I know he already knows. Greatest Christmas present ever. I can see them pitching this in Hollywood. Oh, no. hey, Shaft hey, family reunion? No, 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 no. Hang on to your hats. Just imagine. Hey, LM, I got a movie idea for you. What if drug smugglers drop the fuck ton of cocaine out of a plane and it goes into the forest and a bear gets a hold of it. Oh dear lord. And the bear goes goes on a coke fueled murderous rampage. What? What the hell? Cocaine bear coming this February. Yes. Wow. I thought that shit was a joke. I mean it is. If you've seen the trailer it's like one third horror movie, two thirds comedy. It's great. Oh I'm, no! It's, I've it's, been sitting around for an hour and fifteen minutes for this shit. Yeah, <laughs> I want my fucking money back. <laughs> but wait, um, you gotta you gotta understand money? who's in it. <laughs> okay, Ray Liotta is in it. It's his last movie. Well, I would hope so. He's one hundred and twenty-seven <laughs> years old. Well, he's a nothing now because he's dead. Jesus, that's Ice right. He did pass wait, this wait. away, didn't he? Ice Cube and Ice Cube's son is in it. Oh. A drippy? What's his name? <laughs> Melt. That's okay. fucked up. I'm a fucked up person. Ask around. Yeah, I know. Jesus. I saw this shit and was laughing so goddamn hard. I looked at Sue and I said, baby, don't judge me, but I am going to be waiting in line on February 22nd to get a goddamn ticket like I'm a 14 year old girl waiting for the new Harry Potter. If you're not dressed up in a bear costume, you're a freaking <laughs> pussy. Wait, so who is directing this abomination? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Helen Keller. <laughs> it's the greatest fucking thing ever. If you guys out there have not seen the trailer, pull it up on YouTube. If you're having a shitty day, this will make your yeah, day Yeah, if you're having so a shitty day, this will push you right over the edge. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the best we could do. For a Thursday evening recording, I think I want to stab myself in the neck. Since you brought Facebook up, I'm going to ask you a question I asked earlier when we when I first got mm. to the shop. Ask away. You know how you get stuff that comes up like in your memories and from a few years ago, and you look at that, and you oh, I remember that, or oh, that was funny. And you're looking at the comments, and you realize you know, as you go scrolling down that there are people you're not friends with anymore. And some of those people, it's blatantly obvious. Like, whoa, Jesus. And then there's some that you look at it and you're like, huh, I didn't know we weren't friends anymore. I wonder what comment got them. (laughs) You know, because there should be a way you could like click on, double click on their name and it tells you what they read when they went, fuck this guy. (laughs) You know what? It's usually happy birthday announcements. People see, oh, it's so-and-so's birthday. Why am I still friends with them? Huh. Actually, she's got a point. (laughs) Oh, I take it you've done that. No. (laughs) Not at all. No. (laughs) I mean... Lion sack of shit. Now, granted, in your particular case, Larry, it's definitely the... What post, what comment, what... Really? (laughs) Have you met you? Huh. Hmm. 
Not expecting the truth, he was shocked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that asshole is my kid. <laughs> and I have some bad news to share. But quickly on the Facebook front. Now see, that's the funny, funny part of Facebook. Those, um, you know, back in the past kind of postings. Guess what posting I got today? Last year, this time, a certain little dog in a sweater sitting next to the Christmas tree. Oh. Oh. Reno's last Christmas. Oh. That was pretty fucked up. I was bummed out, man. I miss that little explosive diarrhea dog a lot. (laughs) (laughs) And if you haven't figured out why, listen to past episodes, you'll figure it out. Reno's last Christmas is my favorite Hallmark movie. (laughs) God damn, camera gorilla. Yeah, the grill is swinging for the fences today, man. But you know what? I like that he mentioned that because it brings up a very salient point. Uh oh, here we go. Hey, man. Draw, dial the big words back a little bit. Okay, how's this? I want to go to the Hallmark movie studios and set them on fire. Oh, I'll help. Because that's the kind of shit they would put out. Mm hmm. Sappy, just ugh, you know. I, I like fucked up Christmas specials. <laughs> Kiss saves Christmas. Was that really a thing? No. Oh, just checking. <laughs> I don't. I know think it's so. a running joke on Family Guy. Yes. <laughs> Bad Santa twelve. There you go. Yeah. Or my favorite, the horror classic Silent Night, Deadly Night. Well, you've seen the new one coming out with this murder clause thing. Oh, I'm, oh on, right? that, that's being watched, too. Yeah. I can't fucking wait. That's a what double if, header with cocaine bear. Yeah. <laughs> what if John Wick was Santa? Find out this Christmas. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, you know, before we get, I obviously know we have introductions, too, but I just want to throw this out there ahead of time. One, I want to apologize to Corey and Sam. It's my fault we didn't record with you guys this weekend. I had a, a co-worker who, uh, who lost a family member, so, you know, my condolence is there. But, uh, you know, we'll get you guys back on the show as soon as we can. That sounded super sincere. <laughs> That's as best as they're going to get, okay? Wow. Wow. Fuck. All right. You'd be better off not saying anything, man. Well, luckily, the gorilla can edit all this out. I'll put so. some soft piano music on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If if we had Little video, Celine Dion in the background. If we had video, which we don't today, this time, um, you know, gray it out, make it look all sad and all that stuff. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to mention. Because we are stupid and incompetent, we don't have video this week, so you just get to listen to our voices this whoa, week. Whoa, whoa, it whoa. actually might be a better thing given our cigar of choice. We, this we time. Get- sounds like a whole lot of people. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I'm trying to give the you know listener in this case for this episode choice. That just they can I'm- guess they can guess who the fuck up is. That's my early Christmas present. Guess who the fuck up is? Delicious. Not having video is going to be my favorite thing because that means I just get to do whatever I want. <laughs> oh God, here we go! Yay! And this is why Camera Gorilla gets paid. <laughs> You're a good kid. Anyway, let's go around the <laughs> let's go around the room and see how everybody's doing. Let's start with our guest. Sarah Belt is back once again for all our enjoyment. How are you, Sarah? Um, that sounded horrible. Yeah, I it did. sounded wow. terrible. I, was, I wasn't going to say nothing, but I was like, wow, I didn't know it was that kind of show. Right. <laughs> Probably now regretting that she's like, yeah, maybe I'll join you oh, tonight. Oh, she don't regret it yet. That was, that was right up there on the helpful beaver level there, buddy. <laughs> What's great is... Um, having to choose my words carefully given the since fucking when yeah the extenuating circumstances of said arrival yeah. of uh the cigar of choice this evening oh well yeah there is that you know I, that i've noticed scott doesn't do well with female guests <laughs> I, do, I do perfectly fine with female guests oh yeah but, but maybe I... you ought to review some of the past episodes <laughs> but also am i really a guest nah so what do we call you? And there's no and there's no video, so nobody can see Larry squirming oh in his God. chair. No, guest is not the word I would use. It's, it's far more familiarity than guest. <sighs> All right, moving on. Yes, Larry, <laughs> how are you this evening? Oh, I'm fabulous. This is uh, I, I'm 
I'm sorry. I hate doing this on a weeknight. You know, I agree. This this is this was a terrible idea. But here we are, so God bless. Um <laughs> you know, we are gonna we're gonna pilot this thing right into the fucking ground. You know, the we bug, picked a- Bugs Bunny rule of flying right here. I'm, I believe I can step off right before the plane hits the ground. <laughs> hey, we've got a great subject for this evening. So Yeah, well, you know. Yes. I think the thing... Oh, damn it. <laughs> what, no one liked cocaine bear? Well, fuck all y'all then. I'm going home. Hang on, let me do closed captioning for our non-viewing audience. Sarah just dropped a <laughs> fuck ton of ash onto the sofa. It wasn't that much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hot crotching our sofa. Mr. Robinson, how the hell are you? I've got a drink in my hand. Under normal circumstances, I have a cigar in my hand. But <laughs> hearing the reviews that from folks who have smoked it previously, I'm a little nervous. Well, yeah, mine's already blown up. The, the uh, Yeah, it's coming unraveled. Right yeah. Below, right below the label. So, How about you, Greg? How you doing? Not bad. I kind of agree. I, I'm I'm not a fan of the weeknights anymore, but here we are. But it's a decent night. Good friends. A cigar. You know, alcohol. By the way, what are we drinking, Scott? We are drinking some space side um, sc- um, scotch called Shildag. It's one of your favorites, if I remember right. Damn right it is. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So thank explain you. to me how we couldn't find this bottle for like a month and a half. I- don't fucking know. I have no clue, man. I I took almost every bottle out of there, and it I did not see that. Yeah, yeah. It didn't make it didn't make the light of day the last time we searched. Yeah, it must have been way way back there, and the rats were hiding it. I don't know. It it really wasn't. <clears throat> but you're welcome. Yeah, yes. Glad I could find it. Thank you. Maybe it took a short person. That's why I married my wife. <laughs> Five foot two. Wow. <laughs> so who's uh, who's reading the uh, description of this fine um, one dollar cigar? I'm going to let Greg do that. Do you do the honor, oh, sir? Christ. Since you brought this, you brought this to Abomination. us. As I light it and smoke it, I am. OK, well, I got to bring that back up now. Also, camera gorilla, we're going to need some very white some funky music playing underneath this camera girl is getting ready to stab somebody i can tell so this actually idea came from me a while ago i found this cigar on a cigar auction website and uh thought what the hell this might be an entertaining show uh this cigar is called the fighting cock yes that's what i said the description is as follows cock a doodle do time to wake up and realize what you're missing an angry rooster is nothing to mess with trust me a battle with one will definitely bruise more than just your ego now a fighting cock if you're looking for an affordable cigar in a box that can go toe to toe with the stuff twice the price this one's for you and you'll flock to it Okay. I'm so glad I'm smoking a cigar that can go toe to toe with a two dollar <laughs> cigar. <laughs> okay, folks. Everything now. I've been wanting and more. <laughs> okay, hold on now. I let Greg read that, but I don't think he got the spice or the essence. You're of right. Cigar. I don't have the vocal range you do. So allow me, please. Oh, Jesus. Cock a doodle do. Time to wake up and realize the flavor. This angry rooster ain't nothing to fuck with. Trust me, a battle with one will be more than your mouth bruised. I can't do it. <laughs> so, I can't do it. This is a Churchill. It's big. <laughs> it's uh, a Habana I'm, I'm wrapper. Throw up. <laughs> it's a Habana wrapper. It's a Nicaraguan in origin. Um, the you know, silky ebony um, wrapper. So I'm going to ask the dumb question. Go right ahead. It's going to be great. <laughs> How do. veiny is each of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's relatively smooth. <laughs> it's so big, you need both hands. Have a good night. My, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gorilla's done. <laughs> uh, mine is... Uh, 
Uh, Yours is exploding. <laughs> yeah. How did you do that, Larry? I don't know. I, I'm not looking at it to look for veins, so you can just skip me. Something's coming off of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Camera gorilla. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's me. So, uh, on, 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 a, on a serious note in this hilarity of an episode, what do you think of your initial impression? I it's think, a mouthful. I think we only have about five minutes of actual con- Oh, you mean of the <laughs> <laughs> Um, It's eh. It's a cigar so far. Yeah. I, I mean, wasn't it's, it's immediately not the, repulsed upon first light. It's not the worst thing I've smoked. No, sure. it's not. Um... It's you know I mean they mar- they're marketed as a dollar cigar, and well they uh, actually marketed as a four dollar cigar. Ooh. It's an eighty dollar box for a box of twenty. I got it for twenty bucks. I was going to ask what the MSRP was going to be. Well, oh, four I, bucks is four bucks. I, <laughs> I think they may have overshot that a little bit. But You're about to lose the wrapper. On yeah, yours. no, the wrapper is completely blown apart on this. Just below the band, it's coming apart. Um, and these have been sitting in my humidor for almost a year. Uh, and I mean, f- it's not terrible. Uh, it's kind of, it's got a little bit of an aftertaste to it, but uh, don't, don't, don't look at me in that tone of voice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, like I said, I, you know, I, I've had some stuff that, that was, that was, <clears throat> way way worse than this so um sure. i don't know we'll we'll ride it out a little while and see what happens yeah i'm kind of riding a wave on this one i mean it's not horrible i mean the jokes write themselves yes but yes. in all seriousness for a buck well and that's the thing i mean aside from i knew that the the name of the cigar was hilarious we're 70 70- 70 some odd episodes into this show we've never really smoked a budget cigar a true budget cigar especially one at this price point of a dollar a cigar so i figured what the hell it's it's something that we can you know they're out there there's a market for this people buy them people smoke them is it my cigar of choice no but it's interesting because i'm about an inch and a half into this already because the draw is like yeah, you can pull you can pull it through real quick. It's yeah. uh this is it's not is tightly this? wrapped. What is this? A uh Churchill. Yeah, by seven forty minutes. forty-seven by seven. Seven. Yeah, this will be gone in thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well and yeah, it's burning quick, like what camera girl it. I was surprised with how much ash I had. Mm-hmm. Which is why I didn't why I ashed all of while the couch hot box and the not, uh in the Hot ashtray. box to couch there. <laughs> it's nice. fine. But it's one of those that, you know, at least for the four, five, six, seven of us that are in the shop right now, it, it's a, it's a, we tend to smoke 10 plus dollar cigars on a daily basis. So, you know, yes, there's the occasional yardstick that I have, but to get one like this, like I said, aside from the box is hilarious and the jokes write themselves. It's not horrible. Would this be something I would go to again? Probably not. But for a budget stick, sure, why not? Well, and it's, you know, if you call yourself a cigar enthusiast, you you try stuff like this when it comes up. You know, I mean. Sorry. It is what it is. You all right over there, man? Uh, We got... We got a non-miked guest that uh, is apparently, um, you know, the rooster's not sitting well with him. <laughs> Has some thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> no one's reached for their backup stick yet, so. Uh, yeah. You want you want to share those thoughts with us, Chris? You can lean into her mic. It's not bad. Uh, <laughs> a now, liar. Uh, uh, now, Larry, uh, you used a different cutter. Is that what I'm seeing? Am I seeing I did, a V-cut? I got, I got a little bitty V-cut on this. Okay. Um, I tend to V-cut most cigars. Sure. Um, and I kind of got on to that because at the time, I didn't have any straight cutters that weren't open. Mm. Um, and 
it's hard for me with uh, like I overcut a couple of cigars and it pissed me off sure. and then I tend to smoke a larger ring gauge cigar mm-hmm. so it's easier to do a small V cut on a larger ring gauge cigar than it is a straight cut with some of the cutters that are out there oh yeah um a lot of stuff isn't designed for really really big ring gauge cigars yeah so i, I don't know i just uh, i've kind of always gravitated towards a v cut i'm getting plenty of uh draw yeah through this thing because it's it's you know it's a church it's not a very big ring gauge cigar but uh um yeah i don't know it's uh would you say it was nicaraguan and what it's nicaraguan with a habano wrapper i believe is what it said uh, that sounds right yeah habano wrapper huh so there should be a little pepper, a little spice to it, which it's there. It, yeah, a little bit. It's it's yeah. To me, it's more muted of a flavor profile than what I'd expect from a higher higher quality premium stick. You all right over there? Yeah, I think I got all of Scott's. <laughs> nope. I'm just gonna stop that right there. And do you know? Do you know, Scott? We made the we made the joke before recording. It's an explosion that, of flavor. <laughs> that I thought this was made in a Maduro. It's not. It's just a Habano. Oh bless. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So quick back to you. So Larry has a good got, job, Sarah. I almost grabbed my pot. So when we were at Rocky Mountain in August, uh, Calibri had a table. We were flying, couldn't buy all of the fun things that I wanted for fear of TSA. Well, that, but also fine. Well, not fines, but I didn't want to give them any more money than I had already given them. Um, but I bought the punch it's like a four it's four size punch um oh yeah i saw those cool gadget have yet to use it almost grabbed it but grabbed my um superfly instead and now i'm wishing i had grabbed my punch because it would be interesting to see what yeah the experience would be i'm i'm kind of a little upset that i didn't pick one of those up because it had such a such a small punch is yeah. that small option yeah it would work you know because that would even punch a lancero wouldn't it without yeah. tearing it up that'd yeah. be cool that's that's going to be you know that's because that's what i need is one more cigar accessory um yes but, you uh, do Larry. I, yeah I'm, I'm feeling a little under accessorized <laughs> stop it i'm fighting through this so you're not uh you're not digging the uh the flavor of the uh of the rooster at all huh nah cocks aren't my thing (laughs) you know what i think (laughs) this is just this isn't for me i get it you know uh, you know i like the fact you get a lot of smoke get a good draw but it's it's just not working for me Mm -hmm. i kind of wish i had foregone the whiskey just in trying this cigar because the whiskey is playing off of some of the flavors but it is leaving a a, i don't know if it's a combination or the cigar itself maybe craig greg can i'm not drinking so no just so i don't know if it's the cigar itself that has a very interesting finish to me this one's got a very acidic um almost asphalt flavor to it i know that's a very strange flavor profile but that smell that you get off of fresh asphalt that's kind of what i'm tasting it's not pleasant but it is you know it's something that it's a different league of cigar that we don't usually smoke yeah and that's why i said initially have your backup cigar because you may not get through it you may want to go to another one and that's okay yeah i'm already there oh i was not warned to have a backup cigar Huh. You, you you have a minion over there though. Oh, fantastic! Oh, cigar boy! <laughs> no, 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 no! Remember, some fire there, Larry. It's I have seven or eight. Yes. <laughs> oh, cigar bitch! Wow! Oh, Damn. I never. <laughs> That's nope. not polite. Not, not in front of people, at least. Huh? Nah. I would never. And just stay, <laughs> stay away from the sink. <laughs> All right. so, so Scott uh, well, 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 
What other lines of cigars does this fine establishment produce? Do we know? This is it. This is a one one trick pony, huh? Yeah, I can't find out any information about any of the further brands. Do they was this a a one run and done or is this a No, it's a regular. So the initial story of how this came about is I'm on my latest I'm on my cigar addiction website. For those of you that don't know, it's called Cigar Bid. And for those of you that do know, Mr. Robinson included, it's a problem. You know, I'm just on there randomly and these come up and I'm like, you know, this will be a fun segment for the show. Let's see what this is like. Sarah, in other words, this fighting cock is not just a one and done. It's looking for a commitment, a relationship. It's looking for forever. Right. <laughs> it, want, it wants to be your everyday cigar. <sighs> they tout it as such. I was going to say that. <laughs> anyway, Greg. Uh, ain't nothing you know, to mess with. So I bid on it. I set my max bid and, and won it at 20 bucks i have watched bids on boxes like this they do go more than 20 dollars. that's those people that enjoy them more power to you or it's the uh novelty of there that's the that was what attracted me was the name i'm like oh this is a half an hour of entertainment on the podcast well so <laughs> looking <laughs> maybe longer if you do it right <laughs> It's not your first time, is it? <laughs> I'm not telling either of you nothing. Feel free not to tell the other of us anything either. Yeah, oh, stop it, sailor. <laughs> so. Because yeah, if he's whispering in anybody's ear, I got a good idea whose it is. Hey, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the gorilla, man. This is when I wish we had camera. We could just flip it around. Gorilla, gorilla is tuned out, man. He gives zero shits. That's a man who's given so, up. Here we go. Here he comes. If it weren't for the acidic, bitter, back of the throat aftertaste. <laughs> it, and, and it's hard to describe because for me, and I don't know if it's because I haven't eaten. I don't know if it's because I didn't have another cigar before this to compare it to. It's not great. But if I could get a box for 20 bucks and keep it in my humidor as the, hey, the boys are coming over for poker night, or, hey, shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> if it weren't for that harsh. <laughs> no, please, tell no, me. Right. Sorry, I set the mic cover on fire. <laughs> Again? Is that what happened? Yeah, it was literally smoking. Oh, dear. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this fucking. Episode. Would it would it be Anthony? Would you would you put it in a yardstick category where it's you one you have maybe you're gonna work in the yard you don't want to use your your high dollar cigars? Yes, and maybe that's just me, but it's not. This is not the worst thing I have ever smoked. And if it weren't for that one note, I I wouldn't say this is the worst cigar on the planet. But it's that it is. I'm thinking of it from a... It's got a little bit of a taste that is hard to get past. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that that aftertaste, that note, is the thing that people who don't smoke cigars think cigars taste like. No, that's, I, that's I, I, I entirely agree. That's what giving yeah. this to someone and saying, try Well, but this. This, this, this is one of those things that you have for that one guy in the group that doesn't smoke doesn't like cigars doesn't drink doesn't do this but he's going to be that guy that's going to be right there with everybody here you go dude you're not yeah. getting you're not getting a patel you're you're not getting a gurkha you're not getting a whatever a camacho you're getting this bro at least give him a mac and noodle i mean so, i mean i don't think i could do that to a person even a first timer that, that that's just bad really See, I think that makes you and I, Larry, worse assholes than he is. I'm okay with that. I, I was going to say being an asshole or nothing, but I'm in that camp. Not which, his which camp. camp. Yeah, Your, no, y'all's it's, camp. There's, hey man, you you got to have a, you got to have one to throw under the bus. Well, a good a good dollar stick, and what I mean by good is something that's passable. Maybe something that doesn't have a lot of flavor because they're not going to tell the difference. But this is it. Oh yeah. no, no, no. See, what I like with what Camera Grill is going for was 
you have a poker night, you have your buddies coming over. You may have a range of like a group like us and three or four friends who don't smoke. If they're going to be drinking, like if there's going to be alcohol or anything, like there are some things that can help save that after day. Like, I don't know what the Coke is doing for you. The Coke kind of helps a little. The Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola. Sorry, yes. Thank you. (laughs) That is very fair. The (sighs) cocaine bear coming. (laughs) (laughs) Cocaine gorilla now available. Not not a sponsor. (laughs) I don't know how the the soda is is doing. Neither do I. We're going to, we're finding out. Oh, okay. Real time. Ooh. Sometimes you don't want your cigar to be a classy lady. Oh god! Shut up, you bougie fuck. <laughs> so so Scott, what the fuck I ever do to you, man? See what happens I'm to Gorilla when he, when he don't eat for twelve hours? Here's a Snicker bar. <laughs> He's hangry. So, Mr. Robinson, the most nutritional thing I've had today. Leave me alone. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, stop. Stop. so Robinson, you abandoned yes, sir. you abandoned your rooster early. What uh, what what did you choose as your backup? Well, because I didn't feel like going to turn the light on in the humidor when I walked in there, I just grabbed the first thing I my blind ass could see with on my seeing eye dog. I got a sim- cimarron. A cimarron. Cimarron. Yes. It's a great stick. Yes. And I wasn't ready to speak on it, but that's okay. Yeah. Is it Honduran? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. And you over there, fuck you. Yes. (laughs) Whoa. Hey, you got left out. Be grateful. I was like, what the hell did I do? (laughs) You missed the fucking. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, God. This is bad. So how many many counters are we going to have on this episode? There's going to be like six, seven counters. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're just going to be an on-screen apology. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to go with this. You're going you're gonna to ride it out? You got a backup stick? I do have a backup stick, but I'm riding it out for now. All right. I, I jump ship, too. Uh, I, I got a stick when I got to the, to the shop today. I got the, uh, uh, the Last Barbarian uh, from Sinestro. It's my first time uh, uh, on this stick. I, I've had lots of Sinastro products. This is the first time I've had the Last Barbarian, um, and it's 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 a decent uh, decent stick. A uh, little bit of pepper to it, um, okay. good flavor. So uh, I'll probably pick up a couple more of these on the way out tonight, just so I can smoke a full one. You know, in between. No asphalt. Yeah, no asphalt. Am I correct in remembering that's one of the ones uh, Paul from a few episodes or last episode recommended to you? I think it was. Yeah, he did. Uh, he oh, did okay. say this. Yeah. I don't uh, know. The name stuck out to me. Yeah. So, uh, and I I wasn't aware that they'd gotten him in here at our brick and mortar, but uh, the uh, the uh, proprietor of the day, proprietor du jour, as it were, uh, pointed these out to me, and I got one tonight. And hey, hey, Paul, don't think you're getting out of this. I'm going to make sure I include one of these in your care package we're sending you. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Really? Paul, Paul seems thrilled. Yes. <laughs> we ought to send some of these to uh, um, Mutt and Jeff from How About That Cigar. Oh, yeah. You know, we kind of call those people our friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's reciprocal. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but so being a inexpensive cigar, the band is 3D printed. It's a a, a nice looking band for being an inexpensive cigar. Box yeah. is the same way. Nice quality box, yeah. too. Yeah, we may have to appropriate the box for some use and... Uh, <laughs> You're more than welcome to appropriate the box. Oh, bless you, sir. That that would look very nice in um, at your desk. Careful. Careful. At the shop. Careful. It goes with the bird theme. I mean, he's not wrong. Do you raise birds or something? <laughs> yeah, no. Is that something someone actually asked you? Yes. Wait, I was going to... 
What? Uh, All back, right. Back I'm in listening. the day, I had the shop band with the four foot parrots on the side, and this yeah. kid that played football with his younger brother. You raise birds or something? Like, Think about how stupid the average American is, and remember, half of them are dumber. <laughs> okay, wow. at least it's not somebody who like calls or walked into the shop. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's. True. I'm gonna pay a stranger to do the Monty Python dead parrot sketch. Yes. Well, just keep smoking your cigar and shut up. <laughs> you know, he's less involved when he's running the board. You understand that, right? I understand that. Let's not make this mistake again, shall we? <laughs> this is kind of you fun, though. You didn't put any enrichment toys in the gorilla's habitat. No? <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes and beats on the glass and, you know, shows his junk to the zoo patrons. <laughs> Guys, yeah, sir, I think in this instance you are considered zoo patron. Be careful. <laughs> dun dun dun! Oh, oh, this has gone to hell in a handbasket. Yeah, pretty much. We haven't had one like this in a while. It needed to. Happen. No, we haven't. That's true. Yeah, this is kind of like the pressure relief valve yeah, what, episode. What's Clemenza say? This has to happen every you know ten episodes or so. Gets rid of the bad blood. Yeah. Gets rid of the bullshit. Yeah. Leave the gun. Go and bring the cannoli. Yeah. Bring the cock. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that mid smoke. <laughs> he wins. It could be worse. It could be mid drink. That's true. Yeah. That already almost <laughs> happened. Then we, for both. Then we'd wonder what that space side tastes like through the nostrils on the retro hail. Oh no. That sounds terrible. Yeah, that's a that's a horrible idea. You try it first. Yeah, <laughs> I'll pass. Thank you. We got to make sure we save one of these for Bob. Oh, Done. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Mr. Retro Hale. Bob will never speak to us again. <laughs> Dude, Bob's moving to Texas. He's already given up on us. Bob gave up on us a long time ago. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. Bob is in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil right now on a beach. He gives zero shits about what we're doing. He found a cigar lounge. In, yes, um, but like retro fifties. Yeah, 19, no, nineteen thirties looking man. Yeah. yeah, those pictures were badass. Yeah, yep. I'm a little jealous, Bob. Although I could care less about traveling outside the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that bit, we're just jealous of the. Lounge yeah, we're jealous of the cigar <laughs> lounge. I mean, if it was here, I'd be right there. I'm not getting on a plane for how long? It's like what two hundred twelve hours, two hundred and seventy-one hours or some bullshit to Brazil. Well, I mean, it's a long flight, no and especially gets. given that there's no direct flights and it's the yeah, you got to go to Chicago to man, New York to to, yeah, to this Cuba. Miami usually you got to Cuba. To, you know, it's like ah, I'm thinking not. He went through JFK. Yeah. Oh, the poor soul. Well. So when it's the cheapest flight, you do what you have to do. Oh, hey, uh, hold on, time out, stop. I had an idea, ideal uh, away for for a call in show. I'm, I'm listening. Um, I think we need to do a follow up segment on the no bullshit kitchen, um, Bama style, because he's down there now, oh. right? He is. Yeah, we got to get a hold of uh, we got to get a hold of Pat Nelson. Yep, and say you know get him uh, you know gor uh, gorilla. Oops, sorry, uh, sorry gorilla. <laughs> yeah, gator on the gator on the on the barbecue or something. Because you know Pat, man, he is he's been there eleven days. He is fully immersed. Oh yeah, you know, he's think, wearing overalls with no shirt. <laughs> yeah, he's, I he's, think he was half immersed. When he came back just from his trip. Yeah, no, it sounded like it. That it's motherfucker's sound. probably built a moonshine still in the backyard. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He got a straw hat, yeah, overalls, yeah, overalls, overalls no shirt, no shirt wearing, wearing his work boots with no laces. You know what? You know he's into that. Yeah. You're making some alcohol that's going to knock you on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whew. Shrimp and whiskey. So... I think that needs to be a future episode. I agree. Um, we're also, uh, I'm still, uh, I'm still doing the back and forth with, um, with Gen X talks. Right so, on. Oh. So uh, anybody that's familiar with podcasts or watches, you know, TikTok or any of that stuff, uh, Gen X talks. Uh, there's a Gen Z kid that uh, asks his fifty-some-year-old dad questions, and the dad's just a bitter, angry son of a bitch. 
Um, I was introduced to this by one of my sons who says, you got to check this guy out. He sounds just like you. I was going to say. I'm like, oh, this is badass. And the guy's got a goatee and smoke cigar. So it's 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 kind of cool. Yeah, as soon as I saw it, I thought of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Long, yeah, it's like, I just found Larry's spirit friend. animal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the guy's the guy's angry as hell. It's amazing. There, There is a holiday coming up that we do need to. Festivus? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was joking. Kwanzaa? Good luck. Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. The other fat guy holiday, yeah. Yes. Um, (laughs) We got to... What? What? Plan that one. Oh, the Christmas episode? Oh. Yeah, we're recording that on in two weeks. Right. Yeah, on the 18th, we'll be recording our Christmas episode. Hopefully, Numbnuts here will have the camera working. So we Let's have, hope so. So we don't have to describe our gifts like you Is know, that year a one. S- Sunday. Sunday. At Indeed. some ungodly hour because. 0700. Now, technically, we can do 8 o'clock because the shop doesn't open. Yeah, we can do 8 o'clock. That's fine. Hey, 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 hey. We're not tying up a whole Sunday doing this shit. I, I'm just trying to be helpful. So, yeah, we can do seven. I'm fine with that. I'll be here at seven. Trying Y'all to be helpful, nice Beaver, against. I didn't say that. I did not say that. I just say helpful. So, can we go back to the fighting rooster for a minute? It's the fighting cock. Have some balls. So, I'm halfway through this thing. <laughs> Powering through. Did you have God you bless experienced you for smoking the whole cock, sir? <laughs> <laughs> have you experienced a creamy sinner yet? No. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to hell. <laughs> yeah, and so it's the more the farther I get through it, the more acidic that it seems to get. And I don't know if that's just it's inexpensive tobacco or what it is. Oh. I'm just not sure. I'm not even sure if it's long filler or not. What's uh, what is going on? Yeah, Nothing, yeah. Everything's fine. The tobacconist is just scaring me. Everything's fine. Yeah. Okay. See, this is why we don't do this with other people around. Yeah. Our, our tobacconist may or may not have done a biopsy on one of these, and I'm scared at what he may or may not have found out. Oh. Oh. Dude, if know. you tell me there was <laughs> a rat turd or something in that cigar, where you? It's probably some dumb, nerdy tobacconist shit that we need, don't need, really need to worry about. Let's be honest. We need probably. To now consider the source. Hey, 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 hey. You smell that? There's a moon trance or something in the back back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who's got their... Uh, who's Jessica, got their, what the hell you got their <laughs> Jessica, going? Jessica, what the hell you got back there? back there? I'm like, dang, the air suddenly got nicer. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Craig? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Craig and his chateau whatever number five. Jesus. Oh. Thank you, studio audience. It's not that it's bad. It was such a harsh transition from the yeah. wonders. <laughs> Cat no, turns smell, the flowers. I smell a great cigar. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, that's an awkward moment. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah, I don't know. I, I this was a fun experiment, but it's definitely not for me. We gotta work on your definition of fun. <laughs> yeah, you need to get out more. Probably. That's what everybody tells me. Yeah. What do you think, Gorilla? Um, I'm at the halfway point, too. Uh, the aftertaste is gone, which is interesting. Uh, and now it's just kind of... Blah? It's just cigar-flavored. Mm. It's nothing it's crazy. It's the before taste now. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's maybe a little, uh, maybe a little leathery, a little bit, but nothing too crazy. It's Now it's, <laughs> now it's definitely in that yardstick category of it's a cigar. Hmm. Sarah? Oh, I give up. <laughs> I got... She got an analog. I think I got a third of the way through, maybe, and I don't think it was worth relighting more than once. Yeah. Uh, what, we got any other business? What else we got coming up? Uh, we got anybody else? Okay, we got to reschedule... Uh, we got to reschedule uh, the Cigar Junkies. Yeah. Yep. Because yep. Greg screwed that up. And then... Uh, <laughs> What else we got? I do have a retired Air Force, retired flight attendant, uh, female cigar smoker that wants to come give us her input. Fun. Oh, before we go any further, we have to wish our producer, 
<laughs> Greggy, happy birthday. Oh, Thank you. That's right. Thank the you. Big, the big 4-0. Yes, halfway to Jeez. dead. Jeez. Youngster. <laughs> have, you bought, have you bought your coffin yet? Yes. Huh? Mm-hmm. Is it camouflage? Yes. It's one of those Oscar uh, Wild Hunter cigar boxes. Hmm? We're going to cook him down on your trigger? Yes. Not in my trigger. Oh. <laughs> we'll use his. There we go. Well, well, Larry's got the property. Just do a good funeral pyre. Funeral pyre? Throw me on one of the, throw me on a, one of the burn pu- piles. A funeral pyre? <laughs> yeah, one of those. Funeral pyre. Yeah. Jesus. We don't have six hours to wait for you to render down. Like, Oh, kerosene will make it go faster. <laughs> in his mind, that is how it works. So... We haven't talked about this in a while, Camera Gorilla. How's the podcast going? Oh, my podcast. It is going interestingly. <laughs> We've had an interesting run of episodes over on the Best Care Any Work podcast. Yeah, you've for been anyone, in that. For anyone, for anyone who doesn't know, my buddies and I, I've been forcing them to watch my favorite TV show, MASH, and we're just past the halfway point of season one. We, we hit the first high water mark. And then we hit the wor- one of the worst episodes of the show, in my opinion, and we're slowly climbing up to one of the best episodes. So yeah. For anyone who is familiar, that is the first Dear Dad episode was the first high water mark. Then we hit Edwina, Love Story, Tuttle. We have the Ring Banger coming out next week. And then one of the episodes I'm really excited to talk about and hear people's opinions about is Sometimes You Hear the Bullet. That's a great episode. Yeah. But, you know, your current one that you're talking about next week, the Ring Banger. I think that's one of the funniest of the first season because of the fact that you really see McIntyre and Pierce start playing psychological warfare with people. And that's a theme that they carry out throughout the show, whether it's McIntyre or whether it's Honeycutt, they continue that theme throughout the series. And it's such a, and it's such a good episode that everyone's playing well off each other that you almost forget that Leslie Nielsen's in that fucking episode. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about it. We're doing that uh, Sunday. We're recording that one Sunday. It'll be out on the 12th. Do no, you guys smoke during these things? I, I do. Oh. I will be when I join him. Now, when are you joining him? I'm not sure what episode he's bringing me in on. You want? I think the first one you want to come is the second episode of season two. That'll be 5 o'clock, Charlie. Oh, yes. I want to be on that episode, yes. And then... We're going to have to have a discussion because you can't be on every episode after Charles shows up. That's a bit ridiculous. No, I have certain ones that I, are my favorites. Just because you kind of look like him. Doesn't oh, God, it. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, God, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, I'll throw there was something else that I didn't think about till yesterday. But since we're recording a little later, I'll speak on it. Uh, I want to give a shout out to two gentlemen who definitely don't listen to this podcast, but I think it's important to remember who they are. That would be a gentleman named Ken Potts and a gentleman named Louis Conter. They are the two remaining survivors of the USS Arizona. Lou is 101 and still kicking like a mule. Okay, uh, Mr. Potts is also 101, I believe. Mr. Potts also just turned 101. Mr. Potts, I believe, went to Pearl. This He's in Pearl right now because yesterday was the 7th. Uh, unfortunately, in his own words, Lou said that his 101-year-old legs aren't what they used to be, so he stayed home, but... He still did a, and I'll find it on Facebook and share it to the page. Uh, He still does a video call into the Pacific Pacific War History Museum there on the island, and just it's it's mind boggling that not only is that eighty one years ago, but the people who were there are over a hundred years old now. It just it's well the the bit he just did for Channel Three or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, They're planning on going next year. When he's 102, he's, he he's, says he's going. He, he he has a standing rule, I think, where he, he is willing to go any year, but it's the decision kind of gets made a month before. It's year to year how he's feeling. As it should be, he's 101 years old. He can do whatever the fuck he wants as far as I'm concerned. Well, true. Yeah. Let alone everything else he did in his 20s, because there's, there's YouTube videos, there's books about his time in the Navy. It's crazy what... Lou did in his career so shout out to those two and another another one I'll throw out just because he was in the news recently is uh Colonel Bud Anderson yeah I heard about that uh, Bud Anderson is a local grew up in Newcastle was a member of Troop 12 Boy Scout Troop 12 in Loomis P-51 fighter ace triple ace he had like it's like 18 and one third kills or whatever his war record was 
Uh, he was just honorarily promoted to brigadier general, of, a honorary brigadier general of the Air Force. Yep. And he's also, I think he's 100 too. So. Right on. 100 also, not 102. Yeah, 100 also. 102, two with two O's. There you go. There so, we go. Yeah. Nice. So, hey, um, we're winding down. Any final thoughts? Oh, wait. I thought you were raising your hand, Sarah. Nope. Nope. Just smacking the mic. Ah, okay. How about you there, Larry? Uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't get past smacking the mic. Sure. Yeah. Um, no, nah, you know, it's like I said earlier, it's, it's good to try stuff like this. Um, you know, we call ourselves a cigar enthusiast. We got to make the, you know, make the rounds. Um, and you know again not not a terrible cigar not something that really is in my wheelhouse but for a dollar stick you know what the hell um let's not do this again (laughs) you know i I agree um no but i no seriously though but if one of us comes across something we see something that's interesting or, or different or you know a novelty you know why not we gotta we gotta do it talk about it you know what's the worst that could happen so True. Thank true. you, Gregory, for, uh, yes, for investing you. a uh, an entire twenty dollar bill on this, <laughs> and then, you know, taking up space in your humidor for a year to season these properly so that we get the full effect. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, go from there. I look forward to uh, to doing our Christmas episode in a couple of weeks, and uh, I think we got some decent guests lined up for uh, for the new year. So yep, should be a good time. Yep. Absolutely looking forward to it. Yeah, interesting experiment, I'll say that. Yeah, most definitely. Well, looks like the scotch glass is empty, and my number two cigar is getting down to the nub, so I think it's about that time. On behalf of myself, Camera Gorilla, Greg and Larry, and our guest Sarah, or we haven't determined what you are. You're more than a guest. Um... <laughs> Let's see, roommate? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, thank you for listening. Check us out on LumaCigarCartel.com. Like and share us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. And if you're out there, drop us a line. Let us know you're out there. I'm Scott Robinson, and on behalf of all of us here at Beyond the Humidor, we look forward to chatting with you on the next episode. But until then, stay healthy and safe, and good smoke, good drink, and good life.